With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, first of all let us look at the question here. So the question here is of assertion and reasoning, right? Assertion says that tungsten has very high melting point and the reason for which is given that tungsten is a covalent compound. Now first of all we need to check that whether these statements are correct or not and then later on we need to verify that whether the reason is the correct reason for assertion or not, okay? Now tungsten, okay? among all the other uh, elements in its own family right has a very high melting point right so tungsten has high melting point the reason is that it it contains or it have large number of valence electron okay it have large number of valence electrons how we can say that Right, so for that we'll have to write down the electronic configuration of tungsten with which has the atomic number of 76. So it will have xenon, then 4f14, then it will have 5d4 and 6s2. Now it has total of 6 valence electron that it can lose, okay. And due to this number of large, uh, you know, this large number of valence electron that it has, due to this reason, it forms a very strong metallic bonding. Okay, so it forms a very strong metallic bonding due to having large number of electrons okay or we can say large number of valence electrons now what is the reason that having large number of valence electron you know affects the strength of metallic bonding so to understand that we will have to understand the concept of uh, metallic bonding through the electron c model right so metallic bonding or metals generally behave as uh, you know metallic kernels right so these are the positive ions right which are dipped or immersed into the sea of electrons now these are called as metallic kernels or metallic ions right which are dipped into the sea of electrons okay now these electrons are totally free to move from one place to another which means they have complete freedom uh, so we can call them a delocalized electrons, right? So now here each and every electron is having the interaction between, uh, you know, the nucleus, the positive kernels and these interactions are the reason behind metallic bonding, right? Now these are the, you know, electrostatic uh, attraction that we can see between electrons which are negatively charged and positively charged kernels. And these interactions, you know, are the reason behind metallic bonding and more number of electrons means more number of interactions means these metallic bonding will be more stronger, right? So here in tungsten, we can see that it has a total of six valence electron that it can lose. And due to that number of valence electron, I mean, having more number of val valence electron means it will eventually have, you know, stronger metallic bonds. And due to this reason, it will have, uh, we can say, higher melting point or high melting point. So this statement becomes true. But tungsten, being a metal, forms ionic compound, right? So tungsten forms ionic compound. It is uh, not a covalent compound or it did not form a covalent compound, right? So this statement is false. And also the reason is uh, false and the reason is not the correct reason for assertion. So uh, we'll have to find out. So yes, so statement uh, one is true, right? Statement two is false. So option third is correct and rest all of them are incorrect. So this is how we can try and understand that why the melting point of point of tungsten is high and we can solve this question based on that. I hope this is clear to you. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.